If you're noticing dirt in your windrow, your rake tines are bending or flexing too much, you probably have too much ground pressure and there's a couple of ways to address that. We recommend a hitch height setting of between 10 and 12 inches. This rake is currently around 15 inches from the ground to the bottom of the hitch. So to accomplish lowering the hitch, we're gonna remove these two bolts and actually flip the tongue piece over to get that to the uh, closer setting of 12 inches. Now that we have removed the rake from the tractor, we need to lower the hitch down to where it's from 12 inches from the ground to the bottom of the hitch. So I remove these two bolts, actually flip the hitch over, attach the nuts, and torque them to 120 foot-pounds to achieve the 12 inches from the ground to the bottom of the hitch. After we have properly adjusted the hitch height to around 12 inches, we now need to set the ground pressure or the rake wheel pressure. So we're going to unfold the rake and lower the rake wheels to the ground. First, we need to turn the valve fully counterclockwise to the open position, then fully raise the tine wheels. Keep the tractor hydraulics engaged for a few seconds until the pressure gauge reading on the gauge stops increasing. Next, return the tractor hydraulic control to neutral. Pressure reading on the gauge should hold steady at maximum tractor pressure. Turn valve handle fully clockwise to the closed position. Move the tractor hydraulic control for the tying wheel circuit to the float position. Slowly turn valve handle counterclockwise until the pressure indication on the gauge begins to decrease. Tying wheels will lower as gauge pressure decreases. When setting the down pressure on the rake wheels, it's best to start at around 900 PSI. The larger the number, the lighter the rake wheels, the lower the number, the heavier the rake wheels. Lower the gauge down to approximately 900 PSI. Turn the valve back all the way clockwise, and this will hold the pressure. Now that you've checked it, make a pass through the field. Check your ground pressure and repeat previous steps if needed. Refer to section 20 of your operator's manual for machine specific information.